In order to add the resources to our project, we'll again go to the Enterprise option and then select Resources. Once I've selected resources, you can see all the resources that are present in my P6 database. I'll just collapse them and I'll add new resources here. I'll just click the plus button here again and it will add my new resource here. Resources in Primavera P6 are structured in the same way as WPS. So I will name this resource. This is the topmost resource level. I'll name this P6 Course Resources. So this will be my topmost level of resources. Under this resource, I can add various types of resources. Please note that in Primavera, there are three types of resources. One is labor resource, material resource, and non-labor resource. Labor resource are the people who work on our project. Material is the material used for our project. For example, in case of a construction project, it can be steel, it can be wood, it can be doors and windows, it can be marble, so on and so forth. While as in non-labor category, we have the equipment that we use such as excavators. So now let's add some resources to our resource structure. Let's say I add three material resources. I'll just click this plus button three times and it will add my three resources. Let's arrange them in a proper way. Let's name this materials and select the resource type as material. Once I've selected the resource type as material, you can see this brick sign here and under material, let's say I will add two resources one is steel and another one is wood and let's say i add another resource such as wires i'll change the type of all these since they are materials i'll change their resource type to material one by one once i have added the list of materials my next step will be to add their unit of measure and their price per unit let's say steel is measured in tons i'll highlight this steel and then go to the unit of measure column and select tons for this similarly for wood i'll again select tons for wood or let's say we measure wood in meter square and electric wires in linear meter. Let's say HVAC system we measure in lump sum. So once I assign their units of measure, my next step is to assign their price per unit. In order to assign the price per unit to my material, I will highlight that material, then go to the units and prices tab. Here I will assign, let's say the price per ton is 20,000. Similarly for electric wires and HVAC system, I will assign the price. Now I have created material resources. My another step will be to create labor resources. I will again click the plus button here. I will change the resource type to labor. I will rename this P6 course labor resource. So under this P6 course labor resource, I'll create various labor resources. Let's say I create four labor resources under this. In order to change the level of the resource, you can just use the right left buttons here or up down buttons. Since I want them all of them at the same level. Let's say under my P6 labor resources, I created four labor resources, Mary, John, Rahul and Altaf. Once I've created the labor resource, I don't need to assign the unit of measure to them, but I need to assign their price per unit. I'll again go to the units and prices tab and select maximum units per day. Let's say each of them can work eight hours per day, as you can see here, and they take a price of say 500 per day. Rahul takes 2000 per day. So. Now you know how to create material resources and labor resources. Our next step will be to assign these resources to various activities of our project. We'll see that in next lecture.